Hello, everybody. This is Di Antinatalist. And um, I found this particular model at an estate sale. And, um, you know, I thought it was a pretty lucky find uh, for my video. Um, uh, it wasn't cheap either. I mean, I really thought, you know, this would be something that nobody would have an interest in. Um, but, you know, this is um, this is just an example of um, some of the costs that, um, you know, I take on uh, as a result of, of videotaping and, and filming um, content for my channel. And um, I'm going to be adding a PayPal option for those of you who would like to donate uh, to my efforts. Um, I don't make a dime from YouTube. I've never made any money from YouTube. And I've done around 2,000 videos um, uh, since I've been creating uh, content for, for, you know, education and entertainment for other people. And, you know, that really, really adds up. So if you, um, you know, consider about 2,000 videos and if you multiply that times 10, um, that is 10 minutes or so. Um, that is a lot of content. That is a lot of, uh, work that, um, I have been creating, um, and not getting paid for. So I will be adding a link to a PayPal that, um, you can donate to, um, to help the cause and to, to help the, um, the movement and to promote antinatalism. Now, um, well, and you know, at the end of the day, <laughs> I will say that at the end of the day, you know, I've done a lot of work and I wasn't paid for it. So, I mean, everybody likes getting paid for, um, their, for their time and their energy and their efforts. So, uh, look for the PayPal option at the bottom of my, my videos. Um, this is a model, the cross section of the female genitalia. And it is a model to demonstrate to women in a doctor's office, I'm sure, how to use a, a Nuva ring. Now, a Nuva ring is a hormonally based um, insert into um, the female. And um, this application um, has to be done monthly. This is a simulation of the Nuva ring. And so this may not be um, applicable for some women. Some women uh, may not have the flexibility. They may not have um, the initiative to, you know, to touch their bodies in a manner like this. Um, but basically, um, a it goes into the vagina now this is not a sperm block or anything like that it, it just sits at the very base um, near the cervix but this is not like a sponge or a diaphragm which is preventing um, sperm um, from entering the cervix. This is a hormonally, hormone dispensed um, ring. And um, I'm gonna go over some side effects of this uh, hormonally based ring. It's actually technically the side effects of um, the pill, implants, injections, and uh, so there, there are risks and side effects and potential strokes and deaths. Now, if you take half of this model off, hard to do with one hand. <laughs> Hold on. 
So if you take off um, the cross section here, and we, you know, we have a picture of um, a simulated um, women's genitalia. So this is the uterus and that cavity there is what holds a baby. <laughs> so um, the tip of that, which sort of looks like a man's penis, is where the sperm enters. And that's where all the damage happens, right then and there. And so implantation takes place. There is one of the ovaries right there. So um, that, that is the uterus, which expands to contain a baby, a fetus. Yeah, a fetus, that's, that's what it contains because a baby is when uh, the uterus ejects it. So it is, a, it is either an embryo or a fetus, depending on the term of gestation. Um, this is that pink and red thing is the bladder. There's the urethra on the opening. And above that, it's probably the most important feature of a woman's genitalia, according to her. And... Some women may not know what this is, but a good majority of males do not know what this is. Does anybody know what that is? So that's where it's located on the body. If anybody happens to know what that is, um, jot it down in the reply section, okay? I will also jot it down. I'm just going to do a little test here. I'm particularly interested in uh, any, any fellows who um, might have a notion on what on what that is. So anyway, this is um, a navel ring and it goes in the vagina. And um, uh, for women who don't have health care, um, it can be expensive. Um, it costs anywhere from 40, 50 to 200 dollars to go get a medical workup from a doctor in order to get the prescription. She may be required to take a blood test or um, to, to go through you know, a variety of testings in order to get the prescription. And a doctor may be hesitant to give her a prescription if she's a smoker or if she has other health, health issues because there are dangers associated with hormonal replacements. And so along with the doctor visit, um, if a woman is not insured, the, the Neva ring could cost, you know, up to $250 a month. Sex has never been free for women. Um, there are many, many consequences to intercourse for women um, that, that males would never consider. Now, here is some safety information. Um, the use of CHC 
which is combination hormonal contraceptives, is associated with increased risks of serious side effects, including blood clots, stroke, or heart attack. It's not for women with a history of these conditions or any condition that makes your blood more likely to clot. The risk of getting blood clots may be greater with the type of progestin in NuvaRing than with some other progestins in certain low-dose dose birth control pills. The risk of blood clots is higher when you first start using CHCs and when you restart the same or different CHC after not using it for a month or more. So it's not for women with high blood pressure that medicine can't control, diabetes with kidney, eye, nerve, or blood vessel damage, certain kinds of severe migraine headaches, liver disease or liver tumors, unexplained vaginal bleeding, bleeding, breast cancer, or any cancer that is sensitive to female hormones. <clears throat> Navarine does not protect against HIV or other sexually transmitted infections. So therefore, a condom is best in, in that in that situation um, to further guard yourself from disease. The most common side effects reported by users are irritation inside the vagina or on the cervix, headache, including migraine, mood changes, including depression. The ring may slip out, causing discomfort, nausea and vomiting, vaginal discharge, weight gain, vaginal discomfort, breast pain, discomfort or tenderness, painful menstrual periods, abdominal pain, acne, and less sexual desire. Now, with like sexual desire, that would typically mean um, uh, no need for intercourse, right? So, um, that might be a good thing <laughs> to have less sexual desire. But, so there is my model and you know, I, I paid for it to demonstrate um, the use of NuvaRing and, you know, as a, a good protection against pregnancy. It's not 100% um, the best and, and longest term, safest and cheapest um, birth control is a vasectomy. And it has a much longer um, effectiveness than a tubal ligation. Plus, it carries no risks, almost no risks. Whereas tubal ligation um, kills up to 20 American women per year worldwide. I don't know the um, statistics on that. Uh, but So here's another demonstration. And like I said earlier in this video, you know, this is not a choice um, for some women. Uh, some women, women uh, do not want the inconvenience um, of, of having to insert this ring. Uh, but it is an option for women. And they don't have to remember to take a daily pill. Because um, taking a daily pill is quite cumbersome. And it can be forgotten. Uh, a pill pack can be lost or... Um, stolen in a purse, or she could forget, you know, the pill pack when she's on vacation. So any number of factors, um, you know, when you're dependent on a pill to prevent a pregnancy, um, you know, it's pretty significant. And whereas a lot of medications you can like skip, you know, skip one a month or, uh, you know, whether it's diabetes medication or heart or blood pressure medication, you know, you could skip a pill um, here and there. But for a woman who is um, restricted um, to remembering to take a pill, um, it's, it's quite a burden. And, um, you know, it's just one extra burden 
that you know, women have endured or do endure um, to prevent a pregnancy from having intercourse with fertile males. So uh, women are the most burdened with reproductivity and mostly with the pre pre prevention of a pregnancy. Most, most women would appreciate um, a male taking initiative, whether that is using a condom on a regular basis or getting a vasectomy. Because it, it takes a huge load off of a woman's mind. And it shows that the, um, the male counterpart is doing his fair share. Because after all, it's his orgasm that causes the pregnancy. Thank you for watching.